Who is Aubrey Plaza playing in the MCU? According to GQ, Aubrey Plaza will play a very important role in the upcoming Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and anyone familiar with Marvel Comics would know who she is. Agatha, Coven of Chaos, one of the most interesting Marvel Cinematic Universe, Disney Plus efforts, will have Katherine Hahn's Agatha Harkness heading her program. Because Agatha Harkness has a vast and intricate comic book backstory, she cannot be categorized purely as a villain. The MCU has the chance to build a huge plot centered on Marvel Comics' fantastical side, with Agatha as the protagonist. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss who is Aubrey Plaza playing in the MCU. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Even while the MCU is notorious for combining characters or transforming lesser-known comic book characters into significant names, there are a few Marvel heroes whose involvement in Agatha, Coven of Chaos would make a lot of sense. We can't draw much from WandaVision about who Aubrey Plaza would portray in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Still, the magical side of Marvel Comics offers a lot about Agatha's probable future in the MCU. Aubrey Plaza's possible roles in Agatha, Coven of Chaos range from the much-rumored Mephisto to Agatha Harkness' grandchild. While most WandaVision fan theories have been discredited, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, would be an excellent place to introduce the well-known Marvel monster. Given the presence of Azazel in X-Men First Class, the MCU may recast Mephisto as a human, played by Aubrey Plaza. A CG, all-red, demon-like figure would be a poor choice for a live-action enemy. Fans expected Mephisto to appear in WandaVision because his comic book origin involves Wanda, her children, and Agatha Harkness. WandaVision debunked all Mephisto theories, but the character might still fit into Agatha's plot, especially if Wanda's children, Billy and Tommy, are members of the Coven of Chaos. Mephisto helped Scarlet Witch create Billy and Tommy in the comics, but he eventually stole their souls. Mephisto was also involved in resurrecting Agatha Harkness so that she could help Wanda forget about Billy and Tommy. In the comics, Mephisto had nothing to do with Billy and Tommy's resurrection. However, the MCU may reimagine the scenario by having Aubrey Plaza's Mephisto, a deceptive version of the demon, reap the benefits of Wiccan and Speed's reappearance. Despite the lack of continuity between Nightmare and Agatha Harkness in the comics, having one of Marvel's most prominent supernatural characters play a pivotal role in Coven of Chaos makes sense. Nightmare, a resident of Marvel's dream dimension, where individuals' most irrational dreams can become physical realities, has long been suspected of being present in WandaVision. Wanda's ability to clone Vision and give birth to Billy and Tommy led many to believe that her superpowers were linked to Nightmare. However, this was eventually revealed to be false. With Agatha trapped in the Scarlet Witch's hallucination and everything, Nightmare may still play a part. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. Nightmare, like Mephisto, can be interpreted in various ways, one of which is a human imposter. Nightmare makes sense as the main nemesis in Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and Aubrey Plaza would be an excellent option to play a sneaky, cunning version of the character. Agatha and the Fear Lord's dangerous relationship could be set in motion if she becomes trapped in an illusion under the effect of the Scarlet Witch's talents. If Aubrey Plaza were to play a villain in Agatha, Coven of Chaos, Nightmare would be my choice above Mephisto. The representation of Morgan Le Fay in Agatha, Coven of Chaos is a fantastic match for Marvel's version of the character. Even though Agatha Harkness has a far shorter history in the Marvel Cinematic Universe than Marvel Comics Earth 616, Morgan Le Fay is portrayed in the comics as being as ancient as or older than her. This is even though Agatha Harkness has a much shorter history in the MCU. Morgan Le Fay, considered one of Marvel's most reliable sources, attempted to take control of the Dark Hold for her cult in the past. Given that Agatha was the one who initially told Scarlet Witch about the Dark Hold in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it makes sense for Morgan Le Fay to serve as her enemy in the comic book series Coven of Chaos. Given her abilities, Morgan Le Fay might compete with Agatha Harkness for the pivotal role indicated by Aubrey Plaza in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If Aubrey Plaza is cast as Morgan Le Fay, the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be forced to deal with a challenging canon conundrum. This is because Morgan Le Fay had a previous appearance in Runaways, a Marvel series whose canon standing within the Marvel Cinematic Universe is currently up for discussion. The fact that Runaways, like Cloak and Dagger before it, references the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though it has never been formally acknowledged by a Marvel studio studio's MCU film or television show is the same canon problem that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has. Elizabeth Hurley portrays Morgan Le Fay in the film Runaways. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.